The most common concept I get asked to explain about Carbon 2185's rules is that of botnets. The reason we didn't include an explanation for what a botnet is exactly in the core rulebook is because they're a real thing used by real hackers. Um, in hindsight, we probably should have included an explanation. So here it is. In real life, as in Carbon 2185, a botnet is a series of internet connected devices such as computers and smartphones that have been infected with malicious software known as malware. This software allows hackers to control the devices uh, and link them together in one network remotely. It's important to note that most of the devices, if not all of them on the network, are unaware they're part of a network as it's stealth software. The hacker is able to use all the devices on the software remotely. Um, in real life, this is used for DDoS attacks, spam campaigns, and that sort of thing. In Carbon 2185, botnets are used to run exploits. These are very resource intensive programs uh, that require an entire network or botnet of devices to pull their resources together in order to run. They're so resource intensive that they actually destroy and burn out the computers and devices on that network. This is what we refer to as using a botnet. During long rest, hackers must maliciously infect hundreds of new devices and organize them into networks um, to create new botnets that they can use to run the exploits in the future. Botnets are difficult to maintain uh, and organize, and as such, there's an upper limit to how many you can have that's dependent on your hacker level. I hope this has clarified some of the questions you guys have about botnets and how they operate. Uh, you can, there's plenty of um, videos online if you want to find out how they work in the real world, but in Carbon 2185, uh, I hope that this you know, covers it for you. Stay cyberpunk.